some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in California where apparently Katie Kidman in a recent trial was found guilty on all counts. So let's take a listen, shall we? Hello, my lovelies. It's me. Uh, I wanted to give you an update. Uh, the jury deliberated for about 15 or 20 minutes after I testified and we went through the whole trial and the judge again asked my attorney to hurry up twice today he never asked the DA to, to hurry though and um, he tried to get the case uh, what do you call it um, dismissed you know like he called for a mistrial because of the way that the DA was handling it he objected to everything well, if the DA was objecting to everything, you must have had Chile de Castro as a lawyer, <laughs> which is probably a good reason why you lost the case. And so I was found guilty on all counts, and I have court on Monday to be scheduled or um, sentenced. So they're going to sentence me on Monday, and then uh, I'll be filing the, the appeal on Monday as well. Uh... They had no record, court reporter. My attorney called for a mistrial a few times, a couple of times at least. The judge denied his motion. And I really think that my attorney did a really good job today. I think we won. I'm bleeding, making me the victim. Rochelle. I don't know what universe you live in, but in our universe, if you're convicted of a crime, you didn't win. Unless you were trying to lose to make everybody else look bad, but I don't know. I God's on our side. Like I said, don't give up. I have I have people that support me, but I also have Jesus who goes with me every time. I'm sitting in that courtroom, and I have Sheep Show that supports me and talks to me and spends a lot of time giving me moral support, so I really appreciate. Please subscribe to his channel and hit the like and tell him Katie Kidman sent you because he's a very pious, honorable man with a lot of integrity. He keeps his word. Even when I asked him to post the video about that he took of the interview with me and my attorney, he had a deal with my attorney. So the deal was between them and he honored his deal with my attorney. But now I do believe he can release that video. He has my permission. And I'll be releasing this one. It took me a couple of hours to snap out of my uh, self-pity mode, but I prayed. I prayed to God, I read my Bible, I'm keeping the faith, and I'm telling you, always believe something wonderful is about to happen, because we're going to appeal this case, it's all been recorded, it was completely one-sided, and it's going to show all their corruption, all their lies. Yeah, sure, Katie, they're all lying about you. Yeah, okay, whatever. The, the district attorney called me a racist while I was up on the stand. Like asking me if I called him a Chinaman. I, I don't know, isn't that, is he Chinese or not? I mean, what's wrong with that? That doesn't make me a racist. But that is grounds enough for a mistrial. And uh, like when I'm in China, they call me an American. When I'm in Mexico, they call me an American or a Weta, blondie. But look at me. I'm still here, Maddox. I'm still here, Pam. I'm here for you. I love you. The attorney really tried to embarrass me with the vagicil and the baby and all that, and I told him I didn't bring those props out in front of children. Well, Rochelle, I hope you didn't bring any of those props out in front of children. I really hope you didn't. 
I only use them in front of adults and it's part of my my auditing and I don't think the jury understood exactly what I'm up to but I do believe they will find out and they may very well regret their decision. No, you wackadoodle. I don't think that's going to help you out one bit. They really think that you're crazy now, if they didn't before. Because they don't know anything about auditors or my YouTube channel, and they were forbidden from watching anything about it or discussing it with family or anybody during the whole entire thing. So the... Um, the district attorney, uh, he objected to just about everything my attorney had to say. He had 47 objections before today's, um, today's closing arguments ended with my attorney. It was ridiculous. Everything my attorney said, that guy was objection. But anyways, it was his very first trial. And so the judge even made a racist comment on the record. If he thinks that I made one, he said, we're very proud to have our first Asian attorney here at, in the Santa Maria Courthouse, and we hope he does well. And so he said on the record that they were proud to have him. I mean, you know, so should I, I have called him Asian? I mean, excuse me. I mean, people call me a lot of things, delusional, a retard. I mean, let me tell you something. I got up on the stand and I told them that when my son started school, he went in the front door knowing nothing about drugs and came out the back door and as a senior knowing everything about it. And where did he learn that? From the school. They have more prisons in California than they have schools. Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? Oh, you are the purveyor of lies, aren't you? According to Ballotpedia, there are 977 school districts in the state of California, with just over 9,000 schools, including public and private schools. And according to the National Institute of Corrections, there are about 114 jails in 58 counties, and roughly about 33 prisons. So can you make an effort to tell a lie that we can't easily verify or debunk? And the prison, the school to prison pipeline is huge and wide open. Whose kid is next? And I found out during my investigations and during my videotaping and auditing, which I'm very proud of, and no, I'm not going to stop, Mr. District Attorney Man, uh, I found out that I'm right, that they don't know how to handle it, that they don't know the First Amendment, that they don't realize that I did have a right to be there as a reporter, an investigative reporter, doing my job, and I'm going to keep doing it because I work for the people. You don't work for anybody but yourself. All you are is somebody on the outside looking in, not understanding what any of the operations of any of those places are. Your lack of understanding does not equate incompetence on their part. All that means you have a substantial amount of ignorance. And the attorney tried to put me down and say that I was doing it all for fame and fortune. And I said, most of the people on my channel can't stand me. And I don't even read any of those negative comments. I'm not monetized. I've never made one red cent off this channel. So you can, you know. But that guy went nuts on the jury. He was like, he lied during his closing statement about me. Saying that they asked me 20 or 30 times to leave. Okay. Second, when I went to one school, the trespassing law says... First of all, you can't trespass somebody from public property if they have not committed a crime. Yet another lie on your part, Rochelle. You don't need to commit a criminal act to be trespassed. Everything you were doing at those schools warranted you being trespassed. 
And this is all according to California Penal Code 602. Look it up. And I had lawful business. I was videotaping and auditing a public agency and public employees that our taxpayers pay for. Second, they added all the schools that I've gone to. Take note, auditors. They took the schools and even the ones that I wasn't arrested at and they added them those charges all onto my my charges so there were six the first two were dismissed by Judge Regali because he saw that his employees over there actually assaulted me so they dismissed those two cases and um, and then he went on to go ahead and try these other four so the only two I should have been tried for was the one at the Miller School, which Sheep Show went back and did a, did a follow-up audit, audit for me. You should go watch it. It's rad, and so is his channel. Second, Lompoc Unified School District, another place that Sheep Show went and followed up on for me, did another fine job, and he's a very... He should be a lawyer, in my opinion. He's really, really good. Um, and really smart. Uh, so... If you can't tell, he's like one of my favorites right now. Go check him out. I'm trying to remember what else I could tell you. Oh yeah, they added up the schools. Okay, so like let's say I went to Lompoc High School and there were no students there, nothing going on at the time. They tacked that onto a, a preschool, Creative Beginnings, where there were kids there, but I didn't know that, didn't expect it. And I wasn't there to film the kids. I was there to do an audit. So they tacked that on and I wasn't even arrested there. Lompoc High School, I wasn't arrested there. It was wide open. There were no s signs on the gates, nothing saying that I could not be there. So I was not trespassing, but they trespassed me off public property. You are not interfering. Interference is a public or a, a physical act. Where do you idiots keep getting this Interference is a, only a physical act. That's a load of crap. Here's an example of non-physical interference. If you see a mechanic working on a car and you start calling him names and he leaves that task to confront you, even if it's verbal only, that's still a non-physical interference because the mechanic left his task alone to address you. So, they can't charge you with interference. So, the district attorney worded all this stuff to make it seem like I did not have business there and that I was repeatedly returning to the same place because they added all the charges on and all the locations on to the one thing. So, the jury, he... And I knew he was doing it. I told my lawyer he was doing that. I could see him doing it, manipulating the jury and lying. He said they asked me to leave like 20 or 30 times. At Miller School, she never asked me to leave. Not once. So that was a lie. And the only two cases they should have, should have tried me for was the Miller School and Lompoc, Lompoc Unified School District, the two that Sheep Show followed up on because those are the only two that I was arrested on and adding those other two onto there is not even legal. You can't do it. You can't just go, oh, she wasn't charged for these, but we're gonna put them on here because we're dragging her in here on these other two. I mean, this is not Germany. Oh, what a sad and unveiled attempt to sneak a reducto ad Hitler into your pathetic line of lies. If you had to resort to that, you've got nothing. <laughs> so, uh, so that was really weird, but that's why the jury was made to believe that, that I trespassed because the district attorney made them believe that I had returned to the same place multiple times when I had never been there before and I never returned to the same location more than once. So... You know, they should have acquitted me, but they didn't. I forgive them all. They know not what they do. Lord will help me and my lawyer with the appeal come Monday. 
and my sentencing. I'll see you there. I love you all. I'll keep you posted. It took me a little while to get on here today and lift up my chin and tell you I love you. But I always will. Ciao. Well, you heard it here, folks. She made a statement earlier saying she's not going to stop doing this anytime soon, even if she's sentenced. So you know what that means. This would have to be presented to the judge as evidence, further evidence, that she is not going to learn a lesson from any of this. And it should really be taken into consideration when sentencing her.